All right, so I'm building my Fahrenheit 451, kind of a custom emoji, just using these simplified tools. I'm putting the confetti in, because I think it could be like uh, the ash from the fire. I can change the colors. I'd like to maybe put some reading glasses in, so maybe I'll just think of that for later. But uh, I don't really see anything else that works particularly well. There's some smoke here, but it's coming out of the nostrils and it's hard to see. Let's see. Maybe, maybe I want these, they're flushed cheeks, but for me it just gives me a little bit of color. So then in order to get the eyes to appear on top of it again, I have to go to that and I have to, you'll see in dark gray the ones you selected. So then I have to just select them again so they show up on top. Okay, so this is going to be my emoji. It's just a sketch to get me started. And I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to save this in three ways because it will teach us something about vectors. First, I zoom in with Command Plus, And I'm at 200%. So I can see it clearly, but it's not so big that it's overlapping with the screen or with the menus. Because just like type design, on, on web interfaces, vectors can interact with menus in a way that p raster images can't. Okay, I'm zoomed in all the way. Now I'm going to do a, a targeted screen grab. So I hit Command Shift 4 all together. And I start at the bottom here with, a, with gray space around it. And I let go. And that will save this image to my desktop. Function F11. I'll see it appear. It's a coming any moment now. There it is. I can put it into my folder for exercise two. Very good. Now I'm going to save it in two other ways because this is not pixel based. This is a vector. So I'm going to export it in these two ways it gives me to export it. One is a PNG, which is a pixel based image. And one is an SVG, which is a vector image. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. So where do those go? Those go to downloads. And I'm going to drag those into my exercise two folder. And I'm just going to show you the difference between them. If I open up the PNG, you'll see that it's free floating, right? Whereas my screen grab, even though it's also a PNG, it captured the background. The problem with this PNG is notice that its pixel resolution is worse than my screen grab. Now, how is that possible? Well, it's because this is a vector image. And when, they, when you download it as a, as a raster image, it had to pick a resolution and code it into the site because these are emojis and used really small. It only codes it to be four and a half inches tall at screen resolution, not print resolution. Whereas when I zoomed in with my high def screen, I'm able to make it closer to eight inches tall at screen resolution, right? Now let's compare that to the SVG. If I open up the SVG, just double click it, it's gonna open up in Adobe Illustrator, which is a vector program. And when I do that and I zoom in with Command Plus, you're gonna see that these are perfectly clean shapes no matter how much I zoom in. You see no pixels at all. That's because this is a vector, right? And as a vector, I can use the, the top tool in Illustrator. If you don't have access to Illustrator, don't worry about it. You don't need it. But you can see all of those different cutout shapes. These are all the path components, right? And if I wanted to, once I know Illustrator, I could use this to alter and create a custom vector with these existing shapes, right? So vectors are great. We're going to be learning a lot more about them. But for now, I want you to use the screenshot, just like it shows in the directions. So make your, make your vector and then do a screenshot of it. And I give you the reminder of how to do a screenshot on both Windows and Mac. Once you have that, save it. Then you're going to open Photopea. 
PhotoP is not a vector program, but it supports vector shapes. So you can build vectors within PhotoP, but you can't save them out as vectors, right? So it gives us a way to play with them that's a little bit more familiar. And then I'm gonna drag my screenshot right into it. This will be the last thing we do. And then I'm going to go to image, image size, because the screen grab is a raster file based on pixels. I'm gonna force this to be 10 inches by 10 inches big, or 10 inches by at least 10 inches at 350 pixels per inch. And then I say, okay. And when I do that, you're going to see that it looks pretty rough at the edges. And that's fine, because this is just our sketch. Then we're going to use the vector shape tools in PhotoP. And those tools exist third up from the bottom. And if you hold down on it, you'll see the different shape tools. And I'm going to use the ellipse tool first. And I'm just going to click and drag that base shape. And you'll see, because it's a vector, you'll see that kind of blue line around it. That's the path. And it will make a new layer. It's called a shape layer. If I double click on that, that image in the layer window, I can choose the color. So I'm going to choose kind of a brownish yellow to show kind of a soot-covered emoji face, right? And then I can use my move tool, just like I did in exercise one, to kind of move it into place. Now that I have more than one layer, I am going to say file, save as PSD, name the file with my name, and a description. Exercise number two, custom vector emoji, I'll say 451 because I don't want to spell Fahrenheit again. Save it to the desktop. It is saved. I can check that with function F11, right? It's right there. Mark it green. That's what we'll start working when we come back to class on Monday. And then I can close PhotoP, log out of Canvas, and I am done. So I want to move all of my files into my exercise two folder, including my PSD that I just started. And then I want to move my folder into the documents folder for safekeeping. Right? And then I'm done.